Now this week, uh, Neo stock fell or dropped by almost 12%, bringing some panic to some of the new investors. But as you know, or as I've told you, this uh, drop that we are witnessing into Neo is, is simply because of the supply constraints that are happening around China. I mean, you remember that as the COVID cases surge or were surging in China, some of the companies that supplies uh, your EV cars like Neo with material or raw material, including lithium, uh, they ended up closing their doors, which that uh, resulted in the supply chain or in the production of these cars to get very slow. I mean, from the latest reports from the China Passenger Car Association, they indicated that car sales for the first two weeks of April in China dropped by 44%, which is something that must just show you that it looks like uh, the car industry in China, including all these EVs, it is or uh, it sort of like dropped in terms of sales for the first two weeks. I mean, you remember that during or uh, during the second week of April, Neo came out and also sort of like uh, halted or suspended their production in their Jack Neo factory, which just or uh, by just this, you remember that this is something that seriously impacted these ev car companies like neo i mean as for tesla you'll remember that tesla to them they had closed already i think end of march which again it just shows you that how a serious contain these uh, uh, covid cases uh, were affecting the supply chains of these uh, car producers in China. I mean, due to these COVID outbreaks in China, Neo, we found Neo also postponing the launching of their new SUV called the Neo ES7 uh, to May of 2022. You remember that Neo had planned or initially planned to release this uh, ES7 model at the Shanghai Auto Show, which was expected to start around april of 2022 but because of the COVID cases surging in china this show was pushed to may which is why neo also pushed the launch of their new es7 suv to may and now this suv already you know that it is coming out or it will be competing with the bmw x5 and so many people are are patiently waiting to see including myself that new SUV that Neo will be selling. Now, still according to this uh, China Passenger Car Association, they still believe that this supply chain constraints that is hurting these EV makers uh, or the all the automakers in China might continue even going to May, which again, this must just show you that this is something that we might still see hurting the deliveries uh, of these uh, uh, car makers or EV car makers like Neo, which is why I think it is good that before you see the Neo April deliveries, you always have this at the back of your mind to say that there were some supply chain constraints which had, which of course is going to impact the deliveries of all car producers, which might result in uh, the car producers in China, of course, reporting low numbers for the month of April and some for the month also of May. So those that are investing into the Neo stock like myself, I think I'm preparing myself for the worst case scenario because I know that definitely or most definitely the deliveries of Neo for April are going to be affected by this supply chain constraint. I mean, though you, some of the new investors might say that, well, Neo had not completely shut down their production, but they were not producing their cars on their Jack Neo factory at full capacity, which is why I think delivery wise, Neo, it's also going to be uh, impacted and we are going to see them reporting some low numbers for the month of April. Now, you remember that most of the car makers or automakers, including Neo, are increasing their vehicles uh, prices, uh, which simply because uh, those suppliers that supply them with the raw materials, they are increasing prices of raw materials, which is resulting in automakers like Neo increasing also their prices. But the good thing about Neo is that they indicated that they will only be increasing their materials on their old models, namely the ES6, ES8, and the EC6. They won't be increasing material on the upcoming models like your E, ET5, and the ES7. ET7 also 
the material uh, ET7 also the price is going to remain the same which is something that I believe it's a good thing from Neo so the good thing that China is doing on these uh, raw material supplies is that they are going to or oh, in fact we read that they are starting or they have started imposing some crackdowns to make sure that these raw material suppliers including lithium don't further rise their prices as this will definitely hurt the growth of this ev industry this is a good thing or this is something that i've discussed with you of course during the week which is a good thing as it will prevent also the price hikes of the cars or it will also prevent the car producers like neo to further increase their prices so this is good because this then just means that we are going we are not going to see neo probably increasing their prices on their vehicles anytime soon except the increase that is expected to come around the 10th of may this year now neo still is a very good long-term stock which is just said to do very well i mean uh, looking at the latest developments fundamentals that are surrounding this new stock i mean there's no doubt that this is a stock which will do very well i mean neo has started delivering their et7 which is something that so many people were never thought we would see it this early i mean some of the people were not believing that neo can actually pull through delivering this et7 on the 28th like they said but neo they it's one of the companies that stand by their word we saw them delivering starting the 87 deliveries on the 28th of march which is something that is truly amazing and must show us that even to the other uh, future events that are said to take place on neo will we will see them coming at the exact time that neo put uh, for us like the deliveries of the upcoming et5 model we are going to definitely see it coming uh, or starting with the deliveries around uh, end of september and of course same with the ES7. we are going to see it probably start with the selling around the end of q4 of 2022 which is something that is truly amazing and of course you know that production wise neo is busy upgrading their jack neo factory and after the full upgrade or this second phase upgrades that are taking place into jack neo factory we are going to see neo being able to produce uh, 300,000 uh, with double shifts which is something that must just motivate you to stay low onto this neo stock now you remember that neo is busy uh, it's, uh, i'm sure they will be completing the neo park factory very soon which by the way it is expected to start production around the q3 of 2022 which again i believe that neo is going to start with the production there there's no doubt about that which is something that must make you to stay long onto the neo stock because when the jack neo upgrade finish before the first half of this year and the production at their new neo park factory starts also this is going to seriously we are going to start to see neo delivering some huge deliveries on a month to month which is something that will make them deliver even more revenue so otherwise with all that guys i make tons and tons of stock market investing videos and if you think that this video was amazing please don't forget to hit that like button comment and subscribe and as you know this video is just an entertainment video and you should not take it as a professional financial advice video otherwise that's all from me and i will see you in my next video and god bless you all